Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Hey, welcome to this week's choice. And what are we doing? This week we're going to the buffet. Oh no, we're going to show you a buffet of a bunch of different footage that's going on. We've buffet got or buffet? Buffet, now don't do that again. We've got North Dakota, we've got a couple bear hunts, we've got a mule deer hunt. I mean, we've got all kinds of stuff to show you. And we also want to remind you to look for the Delta logo. Delta. For that lucky logo. And we'll tell you what to do with Delta. it later, but so let's get into North Dakota, eh? You betcha, by God. We're going to go up to North Dakota with Double B and we're pheasant hunting. We're upland game bird hunting. You know. And we're at the Buffet. 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 What are you going to have? Well, folks, as you see, you might recognize these two guys. It's David and John Brandt from Double B Outfitters, where we've been waylaying on some big white-tailed deer, some waterfowl, having a blast. But they're, they're venturing into a whole new realm that you have a lot of experience on, but for outfitting, this is awesome. We are, you, you guys are doing some pheasant hunting, huh? Yes, we are. We're gonna, we're gonna try this. We, we've got a great area here. We've got an opportunity of a lifetime presented to us, and we know how to do it. And what we're gonna learn a little, too, as we go along, but. We're looking forward to this. It's going to be a good time. We're going to have uh, lots of birds. I, th I think there's probably more birds than there's ever been, according to the you know people around, and it's going to be great. And you guys got like thousands of acres. I mean, just locked up now. Yep, a lot of acres tied up. So it's and it's a lot of corn ground with sloughs and stuff, and it looks really good. We've been out here, kind of checked it out, and there's lots and lots of birds. So, so now. Hey, Ralphie, strike one and strike two. Come on, bud. Oop. Well, we flushed up a pile of birds, but they were all ahead of us, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna get some shooting. Well, you got some shooting, I right? even got it on film. Yeah, I shot twice. You don't have it. A little out of range. You missed. Out of range. You missed. Out of range. It was close when it started. Out of range. Oh baby, oh baby. Ready? Yep. Let's go get my rooster. Watch this now, I'm gonna send him. Watch. Okay. Over there and then when he gets the birds up, there. Nice one. Yeah baby. Double B means big breasted pheasants. Oh my gosh, Ralph, even pheasants can smell you. <laughs> We had that rooster come out right here where there was hardly nothing and he flushed and we weren't ready. But I swung on him and we got Welcome back to The Choice. Now, now we're gonna join Aaron Chrisman, Eldon's right, daughter. Eldon's daughter. Now they sent this footage in. Hunt. It was right. awesome because right. once again, it's all about what we've always tried to promote and that's the family. Father filming his daughter bear hunting. How cool is that? Right, and she takes an awesome bear down there. Now Ralph, I know you'd no. like to put all the stuff in your pocket for when we go bear hunting, yes. but, but we're no, at no. the buffet the and we should be. No, no, go the better stuff, okay. the better stuff. I want oh, some. there's ice cream. <laughs> yeah, no, no. no. Bye. 
I think everybody should bring their kids up hunting with them or fishing or just the outdoors in general. Uh, I was brought up uh, hunting and fishing as much as I possibly could. Eldon, who's shaking more, you or your daughter? and I take my kids wherever I go. I, I very seldom go hunting or fishing without my daughters and uh, they really enjoy it. It keeps them, keeps them off their rears and away from the TV and off the video games and stuff like that. So uh, we hunt and fish as much as possible and, uh, and just enjoy all the, all the people we hunt and fish with. So uh, take your kids fishing, take them hunting, enjoy the outdoors. Nice, nice shot. Oh, that was cool. Just to it. This is my second bear with Silence of the North, hunting with Harold. And I'd like to thank Freddie and Peter for helping us get this on film with their cameras. And it's been a long wait, but it was worth it. Seven, I think this is our seventh night out. And it was about, I don't know, nine o'clock around there when we, when my dad saw him, and then I saw him. And it took us a few minutes to get a shot, but we got him. Hey Aaron, congratulations on that bear. And Eldon, thanks for sharing that footage. Now let's go join Uncle Spence as he goes shoots a giant black bear in Manitoba with Canadian Subarctic with his crossbow. Hey, John was out there just baiting and he saw a monster bear on the bait I've been sitting on for the last few days. We got, the, we got the crossbow, we're ready to go. Hopefully we can sneak up on that big guy. The barrel hasn't been knocked over yet. He just got there. I'm all excited. And uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed that that big guy is still on the bait. We're gonna try to sneak up on him right now and get a shot.
slight watering toward us. In fact, he came real tight to the shoulder. We didn't see how any arrows went through him like that. I mean, most of it was he gave me a good jab, but the other part of it, he was coming right at us. I shot him about eight or nine yards, and he was headed right toward us. So part of it was self-defense. Look at the size of that head. Holy cow. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's the, all the tags are filled now. Wow. What a big animal. And it's a heck of a He's trip. A monster. Heck of a trip at Ganglers again. Man, there's three of them. What a place for trophy bear. God. I mean, this is a, an awful big one. Look at the pads on this thing. Everything is head. You know, that's why he wouldn't feed out of the barrel. It's yeah. because he couldn't get we in. couldn't figure it out. <laughs> he couldn't get his paws in the barrel. Yeah. Had, the holes were only like five inches and he's got such a he's such a large bear Look at that. that he couldn't fit in. Look at those pads. Wow. I mean he whew. Wow. That's why he couldn't fit in in. Yeah. Because he couldn't get into the back of the barrel. I'm surprised he's he probably got eight inch pads. Yeah. I'm surprised he just didn't eat the barrel. Welcome back to the ch what are you putting on my plate? It's some beef stuff. You know, talking about a plate. Now let's check posse member Peter Bowfield as he's out in Colorado. Yes. Bow hunting mule, mule deer. deer. Yeah. Mule deer. What is that? That's beef and corn. I like we corn. We must be in the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Hey, Peter, I always heard you Miami boys were sneaky. First good sign right here. We got blood. And lots of it. So it's a good sign so far. In Colorado. And take a look. I got my first mule deer. I right, think Jake, my guy, come over here, man. What can I say? Finally got my mule deer, man. Good man, we were, luck. We've been putting some stock on these things for a while. Yeah. Like I said, they weren't easy, huh? No, they're not easy, that's for sure. But we finally got in them. Yeah, they make you work for them. Yes, they do. Man, look at that. I am proud. I'm Tinkle Pink, I'll tell you right now. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Welcome back to the choice. Now we've seen pheasants, bears, bears, mule deer. Now what else do we need? Now we're gonna head, head out with posse member Dan Wallace as he's crossbow hunting in his home state of Ohio. Is that what he's gonna do? I think so. How's that corn? Hmm. That's you, pretty good. You put your fingers in my... Mm, let me try some of that rice. Mmm. That's good stuff. October 10th, Jerry and I came down to one of our urban areas. We're hunting an oak flat. We've got some pictures of some real good bucks on here. They've been milling on this flat before they go out in the fields. So hopefully one of them shows up and we can, we can put them down tonight. The leaves are starting to fall. We got a cold snap coming in, so 
Looks like it might be a good night. Well, you talk about performance, it's like a hot knife going through butter. Dang, he's in the gully. <laughs> That's at nine point. Yeah, he's down. Whew. Man, good job, Jerry. <laughs> oh. oh, well, that deer, he came up behind me and he come up out of the gully. Jerry could see him. But I could, I would have had to shoot between Jerry's legs to shoot at him, but uh, he's a nice buck. It's a uh, October 10th. Every year for the last three years, October 10th and 11th, I've took my deer and uh, I'm happy with him. Watch yourself, it's steep. All right. Oops. That is exactly why Dan hunts with a crossbow. We came in here today. It's a, we're hunting an oak flat, and uh, they're staging up right before the uh, they go out in the fields. We're in an urban area, and there's a lot of construction going on right now down here. And it kind of messed us up earlier in the season because uh, everybody started bulldozing and timbering out the trees and, you know, we were hoping they were going to wait, but uh, we got this one out of here. There's a couple other real good bucks. We saw this buck on the stealth camera and uh, we knew we wanted to come after him. Well, we sure hope you enjoyed this week's Buffett show. Buffet. Buffett. Buffet. Buffet. <sighs> what are you gonna do? But you know, you know, one of the reasons we, we started doing the Buffett was uh, to show an array of all types of different hunts. You know, things that we, we sort of do throughout the year. Right. And it's crazy because sometimes there, there's hunts that maybe don't make the, you know, the full length show. Exactly, and that's why we have to make a buffet show. Right. Buffet. And it sure is fun because we, we, we like to try to take you on a random whole bunch of different hunts. And not only that, all the guys in the office really wanted to go to the buffet for lunch, so that's why we're here. Yeah, Joe, Freddie, and Travis yes, were dying that, to go that's to, why. to they, the buffet. They, so. they, they wanted to eat here today. Yep. Now, we hope you did look for the Delta logo, and right. if you did, you need to go to huntingnet.com slash the choice and let us know where you saw that, and maybe you guys get a surprise. A good surprise. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. What do you think? I don't know, but I don't know if there's enough food for the boys up here. I know. They're hungry. Yeah.